was hammering on the door of stateroom 12. The woman in Brodnick's stateroom was Constance, and she was not in a trunk. There's another one of my how-to videos. This time, how to make a old radio work again as a prop. Um, I'm not saying to take a, a working radio and and destroy it, but if you have a empty case, you know, or a radio that's beyond repair like this one was, um, give it new life and uh, Here's some nice old radio, old music, old radio shows through it, all using modern technology, Bluetooth. So in this, uh, I'll show you the basic um, kit that I use to uh, retrofit this, um, this radio and, and just uh, how it works. So when you get the kit, oh, and, and I'll have links in the description of um, where I bought uh, everything. Uh, first off, you need the Bluetooth module, and it comes with um, the connecting cables for speakers and power, although I'll show you, you really don't need the power part. So this is the module. Let's see. It's um, pretty tiny. It has three connectors. Uh, the two little white connectors are uh, the left and right speaker, and the red is the power connector. Although you really don't have to use that one. Uh, you can, I mean, you can use it because they give you a cable for it, but uh, you can use it uh, with batteries or whatever. But um, on the other side is a little USB uh, port, and that's what I use to, um, to plug in. Um, just a, a regular uh, iPhone charging cable and the, and the little iPhone uh, power supply. But you can use any 5-volt power supply. Actually, you can use a, um, uh, one of these battery uh, batteries, battery backups for uh, charging your phone, um, which I've used that too when I didn't have access to an AC plug, and you, and you can power your radio. So basically, um, what I did in mine, I hot glued the module to the side of the case um, just so I can have access to the, uh, to the plug. And that plugs in, just like that. And the two cables, as I said, it comes with, with this power cable, left and right speaker cable and they just plug right into the little jacks um, just like that and then you can solder those or you can use some uh, connectors but um, I just soldered mine right to the speakers which I got these little speakers uh, I believe these are four ohm what the manufacturer said is that you can use a 3 ohm or a 4 ohm speaker um, and um, either one will work just as well. So I, I got these, they were pretty, pretty small and um, again I hot glued these into the, into the cabinet and that worked pretty well. Um, so once you power this on you'll hear the little tone and let me pull my radio over here and I'll show you. So we take the radio, let me unplug this battery. That's the other part, the uh, dial lighting I'll show you as well. Um, so as you can see, I still have most of the chassis in there. I just couldn't get these on this particular radio. I couldn't get the, the knobs off. I didn't want to destroy the knobs. Uh, but um, uh, so anyway, that's, I just hot glued the speakers in there, hot glued the little uh, module. And then, so once you plug in the USB, 
And if you get it right. So you see the little blue lights uh, lighting up and you hear the little Bluetooth sound. And um, so basically what you do is you go to your phone, go to Bluetooth and you find the, uh, the Bluetooth module, which is the DW-CT14+. And in my case, it's already connected. That was that second little ding. So it connects and then uh, so on my phone, I have a, I have a um, bunch of old radio shows on Dropbox. So I'll just uh, play one through it. And you should be able to hear that. So, sounds pretty cool. Um, so that's, that's it for the, uh, for the Bluetooth, pretty straightforward, just actually two connectors, forget the power connector because, uh, use the blue, the, um, the USB one for power. The other thing is the, the, uh, dial. Um, I wanted a dial that, um, that lit up because if you're going to have used the radio as a prop, you want Want it to have some life, so I bought these these LEDs. These are clear LEDs. They're nine volt because they already have the uh, the drop down uh, resistor in there, uh, so they'll work with um, I believe nine to twelve volts. So and then get some of these nine volt uh, connectors. Solder that together, red to red, black to black course and then again hot glued love hot glue uh, hot glued those to the inside of the cabinet uh, on either side of this dial so I could have this red and green light as a as it originally was and then I just plug in the 9 volt battery that 9 volt battery will last literally forever just powering LEDs um, so and you'll get a, I'll put the link down, like I said, in the description, but you will get a ton of these LEDs, more than you'll probably ever use in your lifetime. But um, they're pretty cheap, I think like $8 for 50 of them. And uh, the little Bluetooth module also, I think um, $8.95 or something like that. So that's pretty inexpensive. The speakers were maybe $11. So pretty cheap retrofit to get your radio back working as a prop. Or if you just want to, uh, to listen to old radio shows coming out of your radio um, in your living room. That's pretty cool. So that's about it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll come back with some more prop making tips and videos soon. Thank you.